Hello, hey, and welcome back to Stellaris, the Ancient Relics DLC. Um, wow. I, I don't even know why people have trucks that can be that loud. I, I just don't get it. And moving them at this time of night? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. Ugh. Life is tough. I have received a communique from Lock and Mechanis Mechanists. Rational consensus heard explorers bring from Lock and Mechanists. Director General Sid Loris, our elected represent representative, but in Trudeau citizens, blah blah blah. Okay. We'll let a hill back. I remember that the first time I placed Stellaris, I made. Um, again, with another side. Get inside. Oral imagery of Trapalum's second clearly shows the infrastructure of a technological civilization. Mysteriously, despite massive urban areas linked by an extensive surface transport network, the plan seems totally abandoned. Oh crap, that may be a... Uh, uh, crap. Forgot the name. It's not Megalopolis. It's, um... Damn it, forgot the name. It's, it's the planet covering entire urban sprawl. Uh, no sign, uh, the planet's core is more active than most, but there is no sign of any disastrous events or anything else that would maybe explain the missing population. Where did they, they all go? Probably deep into the core. Probably deep. So, anyway, as I was saying, the first um, Emperor that I ever played was uh, a scient scientist, I believe. Directorate. It was fun. It was very fun because I was ahead of everyone else. Technologically wise, very fun game, hell of a time, and I, I would definitely play again. And I'm also seeing that wow, planet has planet already has a planned colony. Okay, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. So we can't inhabit then. Let's see, seventy percent. Gotta take our chances. 25%, 60%. Uh, nah, not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. We're gonna start colonizing like crazy. In persistent, we own 16 star systems, we own 3 colonized systems, and we're gonna get more. Stand by for that. I can guarantee that. Stand by for that. Activate uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if, if that can change. I would like to know. I would really like to know. Uh, kill a sound republic will not grant you the independent Phoenix coalition. Whatever. Whatever, man. Yeah, I'm like the march, basically, here. With the stupidly overpowered ship. <laughs> nice. KLSR is also... okay. Oh, it's stop guaranteeing that. What the hell is going on, people? Chill out, man. Chill out. Oh, it's almost done. It's almost done. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, our deep space tracking arrays on Sutra Prime have made an alarm discovery a large asteroid. Oh, updated. Crap. Resource scan complete. Yep. Hundred and fifty eight days. <laughs> Crap, how long will it take for you to get there? For really? What? It's gonna take longer for them that are halfway through to get there than for the Grand Herald to get there. It's gonna take a year for that to, get, to happen. Okay. Alright. Wow. Phoenix Collision is humiliated. Great. That's how it should be. Go rivalry. Why are you... What? Awesome. 
screw you. I don't have an issue with you. Whatever, man. Whatever. Honestly, I, I don't even know why you hate me. But I'll rival you if I can. Yeah, sure. And you, you little bastard. Construction complete. Yeah, I should definitely take this. Incoming transmission. Uh, research agreement, rivalry, and aggression pact with Loken mechanists. Sure, sure, why not? Which rivals? Mm, okay, so so the galactic battlefield is basically being set up at this point. I like that. I really like that. Um, I also noticed that we could have four star bases right now. <laughs> wow, that's that's something. Uh, we're gonna make a claim here, and I'm just gonna basically just you know break them. And now that I'm thinking about it, we should have we should start building an army. Uh, let's see, plan summary. Three out of three. What do we need right now? Oh, wow. Okay. So we're not that bad, but we do need consumer goods. So let's do another civilian industry and we'll just... We'll just figure it out from there. I don't know. What, what, I'm, what I'm expecting, though, is for the... Uh, yeah, for this one to finish the weather control systems for the extra extra housing because because yeah also wow just that 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 just moves so fast I'm I'm impressed I really am oh the asteroids aren't moving that fast I thought it would move faster okay I was a little bit too worried then hold up a second food manager Governor going up a level. Nice. I mean, I'm not worrying too much about this, which also increases my growth. growth. Should be growing really fast because it's a colony, general mapping. Oh, our chairman also gives us, okay, nutritional planet through growth, planet habitability, whatever. Uh, base growth speed is decreased, and then there's also immigration from everywhere around us. Pretty sure Earth, yeah. Earth has, uh, I mean, has a penalty obviously because it's it's basically it's overpopulated right now. That's that's its issue. It's more space, needs more people. It's I mean, it needs more space and it needs more um, what you call it? It's more jobs. That's what it needs. Nice. Start like okay. Let's research the cruiser and then we'll start doing the archaeological site. Let's see what we'll find. The asteroid has been destroyed. One thousand minerals. Nice. Let's declare war on this guy. Bad attackers. Done. This tech had better generate some revenue. Let's do this. Why? Because I won that. Period. Seven months. Oof, seven months. Yeah, that's, I, we're just gonna lower it for a bit, and then we're just gonna pop at it again. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's how the cookie crumbles. I'm kind of sorry it has to be like that. This is finished, thank you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yep, 
that's... Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Okay, partially occupied. Occupado! Let's see, what do you have? Armies. Not much. Not much. You don't, you don't have much for an army. Uh, let's see, the inside of the Russian cruiser found orbiting in Sostrom 5C contains the dead remains of its full crew complement. Most of them perished as a result of the Jabarian pox that would later render the Russian extinct. But some of the crew were gunned down by marine guards while trying to reach the escape pods. According to recovery log files, the captain issued... 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 Okay. issued a strict orders to quarantine the ship after the outbreak became apparent. Yeah, that might that makes sense. I mean, come on. Uh, let's see. So, excavate site. Who died? Oof. People dying left and right. You see, we're humans. We're, we're, we're very weak right now. So we need to improve ourselves and become machines. That's the only way that we're going to get something out of that. Uh, skill bonus. Construction Girls commission speed, 25%. I uh, can't believe that. Kinda don't, to be honest. Uh, anyway. Through the prime. Let's see. I don't know why I should name it. I'm, I'm gonna have to think something. First of something. I don't know. Uh, I think the first one should be the, the robot one. The robot assembly. For all planets. Once once we build the complete. There you go, nice. Once once we build the initial construction setup. Complete. And the robot should help us with that. So it should be robots. It should be robots, then the genetic clinic gen clinic. And then the rest of your network. Nice. Stormy upkeep. No, no, I'm not sure that I'm gonna need that anytime soon. But still a nice, nice thing to have. What is this? Phoenix collision. This one observation post. Ooh, ooh, I want that. <laughs> yeah. Let me take that. You know why I want that? Because of the population. We're also gonna enslave them. Yeah. We're gonna sleep them. And that's gonna be the end of them. Have we finished recruiting all of our troops? No, not yet. Sign later. Gotta recruit a general. Army upkeep? No. Army morale? Army morale sounds good, but I'm gonna do the lifespan because I don't want the leader just to die. No. No! No, please, no! Mmm! -hmm. That's that's what bothers me when you're st when you're doing um <sighs> when you're doing species that don't live too long it, it's a pain in the ass. Also, I just noticed that ranch is producing a lot of money. Twenty? Wow. Preparation seventeen. Corporate building upkeep three. Just I'm I'm laughing here. I'm I'm just like yeah, bro. Whatever. You have two merchants. What? How do you have two merchants? What the f Oh, your, your building gives you that? What? Is that like a... Is that like your racing? Penexian fun. Can I use... Can I slave and Crispinian? Maybe? What? I'm a little bit confused right now. I don't even know what the hell's going on. But I'm... I'm totally okay with that. that. That gives us a lot of money. I mean, why not? Uh, why am I over my limit? I don't know. Wow, that fast? Okay. Uh, let's see, two sides. Upon closer examination, the smash droids found on the surface of 
IU-11-64-D appear to originate from two distinct cultures. Technologically, the droids must have been evenly matched when they were still functional, but there are many subtle differences that hint at different design origins. Curious. Okay. Let's see. Imagine the profit margins on this tech. Back from space combat. Nice. Naval capacity. Oh, there we go. Colonial centralization. That's what I mean. That's exactly what I'm looking for. No, you know. Ha! Huh. You're being reinforced. I'm, I'm, I don't remember reinforcing you. I reinforce this. Okay. I don't know what happened with that. But okay. I guess. I, I, I don't even know. Let's see. Attackers. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. completed. Nice. Okay, so let's move the army. 191. It's gonna take off a year and something. Yeah, I wasn't gonna like anyone. I've elected. Just gonna kill produce the government of Super Prime. Okay, so we need a new leader. Thank you. So do we have a, a floating scientist? Oh yes, we do have floating scientists. Mm, not bad. Planetary production hub established. A new faction has recently been gaining friction in the internal politics landscape. Committee of Faith and Values. Sort of values and spiritualist. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, let's see, so let's do that, let's do the basics. We can remove everything. Or anything rather, I'm sorry, not everything, anything. Uh okay. Okay. That's fine. Housing one. About you, housing twelve, okay. Population to sixty-seven. Let's do the following: two point one, okay. Decisions, bridge monitor, rope, and that should help us. That should that should help us stabilize that. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's do nasty stuff. Wow, we really hit let's this. Just take over that, and let's part. just take their capital. Ooh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Woof, many, many, many. What is this? What? Lithoid crystal plant. The discovery of new crystal manufacturing techniques far below the surface in the city of the Kalanka Lithoids has effective. Effectivize artificial crystal manufacturing through oxidation of rapidly growing silicon based silk. What the f what? what? What the hell is this? Oh, is this like the upgrade? What? What? So, so they actually. Oh, fuck. Okay, I don't even know what's going on here. But I may be screwing this one up, but I'm gonna go for crystal mines because we do have crystals floating around. I'm gonna take them and let's see what happens. I know I may be making a bad choice here, but I'm accepting it. Oh, just going through them. We're just gonna go through them. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> what? That's insane. That's that's just that's just insane. The level of damage that that pounds out is just 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 stupid. It's, I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say otherwise. It's just I, I cannot believe that this early in the game I have this. 
that I have that I have the chance to get this, I'm just I don't even know. Oh, nice. Next, next one. Battlefield. IU11-64-D does not seem to have simply been a dumping ground for broken droids. It might have served as the actual battlefield where they were destroyed. That the many layers of the research is a series of very intense battles waged interminably across the better part of two centuries. Exactly why two interstellar powers would commit such vast resources toward waging a massive ground war on a small and unremarkable asteroid remains an unanswered question. Curious. Let's continue. Let's see what else we can find. It says that it's easy. I don't believe that. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's do maximum damage. How does that sound? You know how that sounds? You're gonna you're gonna hear that in just a second. To see what maximum damage is all about. Just as soon as we're repaired. And, and, there we go. Our overall environment indiscriminate. How fast is that? That's considerably fast this early in the game. And we're basically destroying everything. Because it's indiscriminate. It's not Armageddon though. If it was Armageddon, this would be the end of that. There's, there's nothing to do. No, no, the governor has died. Damn it. See, we can have nice things. Oh, intellectual. Let's, let's, let's go for an intellectual. And we're gonna have we're gonna have to end up the episode here. Um, I think we're gonna make a lot of progress, and I just noticed that the fallen emperor is right here, sticking an ascendancy and enigmatic observers. Uh, interesting. I'm not gonna touch you. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna leave you there. I'm just gonna let them fuck everything up over there. I'm not gonna do anything else. So, I, I think that between the new archaeological side and the expansion that we're gonna do right now, we're gonna get some interesting results, especially because we're gonna do slavery. A lot of slavery. I know that I said that it's not a good thing. It can lead to some disastrous results if you don't know how to manage it. Uh, this is something that we learned very early in in, in our playthroughs of Stellaris with, with the first version. Slavery can be useful, but it can be a total and absolute pain in the ass because rebellion after rebellion after rebellion can lead your empire into stagnation. So that's it for this episode. Remember, if you have comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you very much for tuning in, and have a good one.